Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Novation. I'm Shantanu and I wish each and every one of you a very happy and prosperous Deepavali. And also I hope and pray that Lord Ram fills your life with lots of happiness, love and good health. And I pray that all your wishes come true. Alright, with that note, today we are going to practice a very important topic uh, in verbal ability that is fill in the blanks or in short we call them FIBs. All right. And friends, if you're preparing for any of these exams like SNAP, IFT, ZAT, TISNET or CMAT, this topic is going to be very, very relevant for you. So today we will discuss some important tips on how to solve such FIBs and we'll practice many questions on it. Okay. So the most important thing while uh, to keep in mind while solving uh, FIBs is that first of all, we will uh, start by reading the sentence very, very carefully. We'll understand whether the sentence is giving us a negative connotation or a positive connotation. क्या वो नेगेटिव सेंटेंस है या पॉजिटिव सेंटेंस है फिर हम ऑप्शंस को चेक करेंगे और देखेंगे कौन सा वर्ड मोस्ट सुटेबल है उस सेंटेंस के लिए अब दोस्तों दो टाइप के एफ आई आ सकते हैं या तो आपको सिंगल ब्लैंक होगा या दो ब्लैंक्स होंगे सो हम दोनों टाइप के क्वेश्चन से डील करेंगे और देखेंगे कि उनको कैसे सॉल्व करना है ऑल राइट सो थ्रू आउट द क्वेश्चन आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन सो प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल दी एंड एंड ऑल्सो अटेम्प द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन विच विल बी एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन ऑल राइट सो विद दैट नोट लेट्स जम्प इन टू आर सेशन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टूडे द मूवी क्रिटिक रोड डैश रिव्यू ऑफ द लेटेस्ट फिल्म ओके सो दिस सीम्स टू बी अ सेंटेंस बट वी कैनॉट डिसाइड वेदर इट्स अ नेगेटिव वन और अ पॉजिटिव वन दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस ऑल राइट देर आफ्टर the audience started depleting and movie so was soon off the silver screen all right dosto ab aap dekhiye yahan pe ab dheere dheere audience kya ho raha hai it is started depleting so this shows that we have a negative sentence and the film was off the screen so this shows ke hamari film hat gayi hai theaters se so hat film kab hatti hai तब तभी हटती है जब कुछ नेगेटिव uh, किसी ने उसके बारे में बता दिया हो या क्रिटिक ने कुछ बुरा बोला हो सो दिस सेंटेंस शुड हैव शुड बी सम नेगेटिव थिंग शुड बी हियर सो दैट उसका कॉज उसका इफेक्ट क्या हुआ कि लोग आना बंद हो गए सो so, मुझे फिल इन द ब्लैंक में भी कुछ नेगेटिव वर्ड चाहिए ओके सो डिड द मूवी क्रिटिक रोट अ एक्साइटिंग रिव्यू आई डोंट थिंक सो एक्साइटिंग होता तो लोग आते और और डिसअप्रूविंग रिव्यू यस दोस्तों ये काफी फिट हो रहा है डिसअप्रूविंग यानी कि अनफेवरेबल ओपिनियन देना सो दिस सीम्स टू बी करेक्ट विल गो टू अदर ऑप्शन एंड आई रेट रिव्यू ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो क्लोज ऑप्शन गाइज वाई बिकॉज इट इज ऑल्सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अ नेगेटिव वर्ड आई रेट यानी गुस्सा होना बट दोस्तों जब भी हम मोस्टली ये एडजेक्टिव यूज करते हैं ये किसी पर्सन के लिए यूज होता है मोस्टली जो रिव्यू है रिव्यू कभी गुस्सा नहीं हो सकता ओके सो रिव्यू कैन नॉट बी आई रेट सो दिस इज Uh, not a better option when compared to B option. Okay, अगर B option नहीं होता तो of course हम C लगाते Next is a magnificent. तो ये तो दोस्तों positive word है This is completely wrong. The correct answer is B, a disapproving. I hope आपको uh, एक idea मिला होगा कैसे question solve करना है आगे बढ़ते हैं The two nations have been at war for over हंड्रेड years. Okay, a negative sentence that these nations have been on war. All attempts to sign a peace treaty and end the tension have been dash. Okay, so they have been at war. This seems to be saying that they have there have been attempt के दोनों countries war से हट जाएं. But uh, and the tension have been. अब हमें इसको complete करना है दोस्तों. Mostly एक feeling आ रही है कि अभी भी वो countries war में ही हैं. Have been at war. Okay, so they are at war. Till now, this we can infer from the first sentence. So let's see. All attempts to sign a peace treaty and end the uh, tensions have been belligerent. So friends, belligerent means uh, having uh, you know conflicting opinion or having uh, the sense of fighting. They are uh, still fighting. But can the attempt be belligerent? No. Uh, this adjective is not correct for attempt. All right. So uh, next is effective. so if the attempts uh, have been effective uh, the countries wouldn't have been fighting so this is also not correct both of options are wrong next is useful so the attempts uh, are not useful because uh, because we can see the countries have been at war still now okay so last one is fruitless so this is the correct one friends that the attempts have not uh, given any result these countries have still been at war Uh, since the last hundred years, all right. So the correct answer here is fruitless. Moving forward, Arpit frequently dash the truth 
Hence, it is very hard to dash the things he say. Now, friends, it's a double uh, bl blank question. हम connotation अभी भी decide नहीं कर पा रहे हैं because uh, clearly हमें कुछ पता नहीं चल रहा है. तो हम सीधे options पे चलते हैं. Ar Arpit frequently exaggerates the truth. Okay, so this means that Arpit uh, अपने बातों को या सच को बहुत बड़ा चढ़ा के बताता है. Hence, it is very hard to dash the things he say. So here, trust. ओके सो दिस आल्सो मेक सेंस कि अगर कोई बड़ा चढ़ा के बात बोलेगा तो उसकी बातों पे भरोसा करना डिफिकल्ट होगा दिस सीम्स टू बी अ प्लॉजिबल ऑप्शन टू मी आगे बढ़ते हैं अर्पित फ्रीक्वेंटली टेल्स द ट्रूथ ओके दिस सीम्स परफेक्टली हेंस इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू बिलीव द थिंग्स ही से ओके हियर लाइज द ट्रिक फ्रेंड्स अगर उसकी बातों पर बिलीव करना डिफिकल्ट है सो so क्या वो सच बोल रहा होगा सच uh, तो नहीं बोल रहा होगा मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली दिस इज द थिंग वी कैन इन्फर सो दिस इज नॉट अ करेक्ट ऑप्शन बिकॉज ऑफ बिलीफ हियर ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट इज अर्पित फ्रीक्वेंटली इन्वेंट्स द ट्रूथ ओके सो दिस डज नॉट सीम टू बी करेक्ट बिकॉज हाउ कैन यू इन्वेंट द ट्रूथ ओके लेट सी द नेक्स्ट ब्लैंक हेंस इट इज वेरी हार्ड टू एग्जैजरेट द थिंग्स ही से सो दिस सीम्स टू बी अ प्रिटी इलॉजिकल थिंग दैट यू नो If he is inventing the truth, then it's very hard to exaggerate the things he say. This does not make a logical conclusion. So I will go ahead with A option. This is the most suitable option in this situation. So friends, यहाँ पर आपने देखा कि भले हमें connotation अच्छे से नहीं समझ में आ रहा है पर हम option elimination का साथ लेंगे So first thing is finding connotation, then going to option elimination. Moving forward, next is. When the kid's father dashed to buy him the toy of his choice, he threw a horrible tantrum. Okay, so friends, this is a negative uh, connotation sentence. Why? Because of this word, horrible tantrum. So tantrum uh, means uh, giving some kind of harsh reply or gussa hona. छोटे बच्चे generally tantrum throw करते हैं, यानी they show their bad temper. So bad temper बच्चे ने तभी show किया होगा when father did something. So what did his father do? Uh, something related to toy. Did he allow him or not? So let's see. So when the kid's father allowed uh, to buy him the toy of his choice, a bugger friend father had allowed him. Why would he throw tantrum? So this is not the correct answer. Next, when the kid's father refused to buy him the toy of his choice, he threw a horrible tantrum. So this seems very correct to me because his father refused. So the kid got angry. Next is. When the kid's father bought to him the toy of his choice, friends, this looks really grammatically incorrect, so I will not choose this one. When the kid's father contradicted to him again, this does not seem to be grammatical, uh, grammatically correct. So my correct answer here is B. Refused. Moving forward, next is the dress I bought from the mall last night didn't fit me properly. Okay, so this gives me a negative opinion about the sentence. Full stop. Uh, dash. I returned it to the store and grabbed a different size. Okay, so uh, this shows that someone was not able to get the correct size, so he went back and got the different size. Okay, let's see the options. Consequently, I returned it to the store and grabbed a different size. All right, this seems pretty correct to me because it is showing me a cause and effect relationship. How? So this is the cause that the person could not uh, get the correct size. So its effect was that it uh, she uh, went back and returned it to the store. So this looks very correct. Next is immediately. Immediately I returned. So this is just showing me uh, a time constraint. It is not showing me uh, cause and effect. So this one is not correct. Next is however. I returned it to the store and grabbed a different size. Now, friends, understand that however and although are two words which show a co contradiction to the previous sentence. But here there is no contradiction kind of uh, understanding. Here the person directly, uh, due to some cause, did some effect. All right. Here that's why A is the most suitable answer. You don't want to show any kind of contradiction to the first sentence. That's why however and although are incorrect. Let's move forward. Shipra uh, felt a uh, dash when she fell from her bicycle. All right, again a negative sentence because uh, uh, probably uh, when a person falls, it is not a good thing. Okay, so I will assume that it's a negative sentence. She felt as if everyone was laughing at her. 
okay now this also strengthens my view that the first sentence is negative because she was kind of feeling that everyone is laughing on her and as a human i can understand that if someone laughs on someone else then that person is bound to feel bad all right so uh, did shipra feel humorous no i don't think so uh, shipra felt proud when uh, she felt okay if she would have felt proud why would she think that everyone is laughing at her so this is again wrong uh, shipra felt pain this looks okay but it is not actually connecting it to the second sentence why uh, why would i care that people are laughing at me if i am having a lot of pain or i am only thinking about pain so this is also not correct last is d embarrassed yes this is the correct option shipra felt embarrassed when she fell from a bicycle and she felt that everyone was laughing at her okay we'll move forward after sticking to a healthy and low fat diet for weeks chitranshu was dash to fall back to his old food habits okay so someone uh, has been on low fat diet but now uh, dash I, i don't know what he would actually do did he fall back or not we will see in the options so he was seriously missing the fast food and ice cream okay so this sentence is very important he was uh, tempted or he was uh, he was actually he wanted to uh, eat fast food because he was missing them With this we can infer okay so let's see the option chitranshu was loathsome to fall back on his old habits if he was hating his old habit why would he miss uh, the fast food so this is not correct yeah, loathsome means hatred next is reluctant okay so this is again wrong why because if he would have been again reluctant then why would he seriously miss his old food habits next is tempted yeah this one looks very good uh, tempted so he was tempted to go back to its old food habit why because he was missing eating fast food this makes pretty much sense okay chitranshu was restricted to fall back to its old habits i don't see any kind of restriction to him or the sentence does not tell us that anyone has restricted him so this is also not correct we'll go to c tempted i hope this is clear we'll move forward the school organized online backup classes to help students who were struggling with their studies okay so this looks positive to me uh, but because of but friends wherever you see this contradictory uh, word remember something bad is coming okay because of dash attendance it was an unsuccessful program okay now since the program is un- unsuccessful we know why would it be unsuccessful because of this word this will be a negative word for sure all right so enthusiastic if the attendance has been enthusiastic would the program uh, fail agar backup class mein kai sare log aa rahe hain to kya usko fail bolenge hum nahi this is wrong because of high attendance if the attendance was high uh, again the same logic it will it would have been a successful program so high is also wrong next is lackluster right friends this is pretty much the word that we want negative word lackluster means there is no enthusiasm at all no one is interested in it okay very dull uh, program so this is the correct option lackluster attendance no one was attending it and uh, last option is robust so again that's same thing we, why we rejected them if the attendance was robust then um, it would have not been a failure so my correct answer is c lackluster here we'll move forward now next is do prima facie the ponds appear dash i request you not to be tempted to drink from it as it is rather okay friends this is a tricky one so listen carefully so prima facie here means in on first sight pehli baar jab kisi ko dekhte hain tab bolte hain prima facie the ponds appear dash and i request you not to be tempted to drink from it this word is very important that uh, aap us cheez ko dekh ke tempted mat ho jaiye ki aap usko pee le यानी कि यहाँ पर कुछ पॉजिटिव चीज होगी दिखने में वो पानी अच्छा होगा शायद तभी उसको पीने की इच्छा होगी बट इट इज रैदर सो दिस वर्ड विल बी नेगेटिव कि वो एक्चुअली में ऐसा है आपको दिखने में कुछ और लग रहा है इसलिए डोंट बी टेम्पटेड सो फर्स्ट वर्ड मेरा पॉजिटिव होगा ये मैं बहुत श्योर हूँ नेक्स्ट नेगेटिव होगा सो फर्स्ट इज क्वालिट देन क्लियर अगर स्क्वालिड है डर्टी है सो वुड आई बी टेम्पटेड टू ड्रिंक इट नो दिस इज ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग नेक्स्ट इज क्लीन एंड पॉल्यूटेड All right. If the ponds appear clean, I will be tempted to go ahead and drink from it if I'm thirsty. So this is good. Next is, but it is rather polluted. असलियत में वो polluted है. So उससे पीना मत. So this is a perfect option to me. अगर कोई और option मिलेगा तो हम इसको फिर से check करेंगे. But अभी के लिए this is my answer. Next is, pond appears ordinary. Okay. If it is ordinary, would I be tempted? 
uh, rather no uh, and it uh, from it as it is rather cool uske thandak hone se it it will it will not be a you know it will not it will not strength uh, my argument that please don't drink from it so this is not a correct option next is uh, the pond appears enticing okay so this looks okay but it is rather clean so yahan par to mujhe negative word chahiye tha so this is not correct so this option is also eliminated my correct option is b okay so we'll move forward next is if the government dash the hunting of vulnerable and endangered species of animal we will soon witness the extinction of many such species so friends yahan par fir se cause and effect wali baat aa rahi hai agar ye hoga to uska effect ye hoga ke कई सारे स्पीशीज एक्सटिंक्ट हो जाएंगे ओके सो यहां पर कुछ ना कुछ ऐसा कर रही है गवर्नमेंट के अगर वो किया गया तो वी विल विटनेस द एक्सटेंशन सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द ऑप्शन विल अंडरस्टैंड सो इफ द गवर्नमेंट फॉरबिड्स द हंटिंग फॉरबिड्स यानी कि किसी चीज पे रोक लगाना या मना करना सो so अगर गवर्नमेंट हंटिंग पे रोक लगाती है तो क्या हम एक्सटेंशन देखेंगे नहीं पॉसिबली नहीं क्योंकि Uh, अगर रोक लगेगी तो कोई भी जानवरों को मार नहीं पाएगा सो दिस इज माई रॉन्ग ऑप्शन आई विल नॉट चूज इट एज एन आंसर नेक्स्ट इज इफ द गवर्नमेंट प्रिवेंट्स द हंटिंग अगेन नो इफ द गवर्नमेंट विल प्रिवेंट हंटिंग दे विल नॉट गो टू एक्सटेंशन सो मै कर सेकेंड ऑप्शन विल नॉट बी सेकेंड सेंटेंस विल नॉट बी लॉजिकल नेक्स्ट इज इफ द गवर्नमेंट परमिट्स हाँ दोस्तों दिस इज वॉट वी वॉन्ट अगर गवर्नमेंट परमिट कर देगी किलिंग uh, को या हंटिंग uh, को देन वी विल श्योरली सी दैट मैनी ऑफ सच रेयर एनिमल्स विल गो एक्सटेंट सो दिस लुक्स परफेक्ट टू मी सीज माई आंसर नेक्स्ट इज रिपील सो रिपील मीन्स टू कैंसल सो इफ द हंटिंग इज कैंसल्ड देन वी विल नॉट सी दैट एनिमल्स विल गो एक्सटेंट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट माई करेक्ट आंसर इज सी मूव फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली most members of the jury are usually very dash others however are rather dash now friends unfortunately word deke to matlab uh, examiner ne hum pe ek ehsaan kar diya now we know that sentence is a negative connotation sentence so this should be a negative word others however are rather so however word aa gaya yani ke opposite ho gaya sentence contradict ho gaya so here negative ka opposite ho gaya positive okay so here i need a positive word लेट्स सी सो ग्रेशियस एंड हॉन्टिंग सो मुझे यहां पर चाहिए नेगेटिव वर्ड ग्रेशियस इज नॉट अ नेगेटिव वर्ड आई एलिमिनेट दिस ऑप्शन डायरेक्टली इंडोलेंट वॉयलेंट नाउ इंडोलेंट मीन्स लेजी सो दिस इज अ नेगेटिव वर्ड बट हियर देर इज नो पॉजिटिव वर्ड सो दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग नेक्स्ट इज रूड ओके सो रूड इज अ वर्ड विच फिट्स दे आर नेगेटिव वर्ड एंड कॉर्डियल येस राइट सो मोस्ट ऑफ द मेम्बर्स आर रूड सम ऑफ दैम आर कॉर्डियल प्रिटी मच माई आंसर नेक्स्ट इज डिफिकल्ट एफर्टलेस सो आर मोस्ट ऑफ द मेम्बर्स डिफिकल्ट मेम्बर्स को डिफिकल्ट बोलना डज नॉट मेक अ लॉजिकल सेंस सो विल नॉट गो हैड विल जस्ट एलिमिनेटेड विल मूव फॉरवर्ड एंशियंट स्टोन स्कल्पचर एंड केव पेंटिंग्स डैश दैट आर एंसेस्टर्स वेर एडेप्ट एट आर्ट इवन थाउजेंड ऑफ ईयर्स अगो एडेप्ट मीन्स स्किलफुल सो द सेंटेंस सीम्स लाइक सेंग दैट जो भी हमारे पुराने स्टोन स्कल्पचर्स हैं दे शो केस दैट आर एंसेस्टर्स वर स्किलफुल एट आर्ट्स मेनी इयर्स अगो ओके सो वर्ड शुड बी समथिंग लाइक दैट इट इज प्रूविंग समथिंग और शो केसिंग लेट सी सो एंशंट स्टोन स्कल्पचर एंड केव पेंटिंग्स इमेजिन दैट आर एंसेस्टर्स नो दे आर नॉट इमेजिनिंग ऑफ कोर्स इट्स अ रॉन्ग वर्ड डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट राइट दिस सीम्स वेटी मच माई आंसर that these these paintings or these things show that our ancestors were good at uh -huh, these art next is disapprove again not my answer comply no this is also uh, not correct my correct answer is b demonstrate we'll move forward the cellular jail kala pani is a classic example of an infrastructure built to dash the uh, spirit of human life so friends here we are talking about jail most probably this is not going to be a positive sentence it will be a negative sentence most probably it is known to dash even the most hardened criminals okay so hum bahut perfectly nahi keh sakte but hum ek andaza laga sakte hain jail word se ki it is going to be negative sentence let's see the options so this jail is an example of infrastructure built to dash the spirit of human life uplift क्या स्पिरिट को ऊपर करने के लिए या उसको एनकरेज करने के लिए जेल्स बनाई जाती है जनरली नो 
we cannot take this as our correct option secondly ridicule so are you going to ridicule your criminals in your jail kya aap unka mazak udate hain nahi unko band karke rakha jata hai unko torture bhi kiya jata hai so this is not the correct option next is destroy prevent okay so Uh, jails are of course made to destroy the spirits if you are a criminal so this is a correct uh, word uh, it is known to prevent even the most hardened criminal so prevent from what prevent here does not make a logical complete sentence so that's why i'll eliminate this option next is infrastructure built to crush the spirit of human life this is pretty much the negative word which i'm looking for it is known to dishearten right bade uh, bade criminals ko bhi एनकरेज नहीं करता है या उनको कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आता है दे आर डिस हार्टन बाई दिस जेल सो दिस लुक्स प्रिटी मच माई करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट इज हार्डन एंड कैप्चर सो आर यू गोइंग टू हार्डन द स्पिरिट ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ और टू बोलस्टर दैम और टू मेक इट रोबस्ट नो जेल ऐसा नहीं करता है स्पिरिट को तोड़ देता है इट क्रशेज द स्पिरिट दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट करेक्ट विल गो हेड विथ सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट इज Touch is the first sense by which we encounter the world, and the final one to leave us uh, as we dash death's edge. Okay, so uh, let's see, go one by one by the options. So, uh, fall death's edge. Do we fall the death death's edge? So this is not a grammatically correct word. Next is as we approach the death's edge. Okay, so this is co- correct. As we uh, reach or approach the death. Uh, the touch sense leaves us so this makes sense as we tweak the death's edge so are we tweaking or changing the death no this is not correct again change is not correct so my correct answer will be p approach uh, moving forward even though akash had a dash range of interests the idea of becoming a theater artist seemed rather dash to him okay so here he ha- he is having a range of interest so this is a positive uh, sentence uh, the idea of becoming a theater artist seemed rather dash to him so he is kind of puzzled something like that okay so we'll see uh, the options even though akash had a wide range of interest this looks good uh, because the whenever we talk about a range it should be having wideness or it should be thin zyada hoga range ya kam hoga okay so this is good the idea of becoming a theater artist seemed odd to him okay he is puzzled because uh, the idea seems odd to him this is good uh, we'll keep it aside next is uh, akash had a diverse range of interest so this is okay uh, this is telling me the range but it rather so rather is showing that this should be a negative sentence it should not be usual it was something odd this makes much more sense than usual so i'll eliminate this option uh, akash had a regular range of interest no uh, we cannot define range by regular so this is not correct and again simple range no this is also not correct i'll go ahead with wide and odd moving forward sunita's dash in athletics yielded rich dash as she go as she got a scholarship okay so sunita must be good in athletics because she has got a scholarship so here i'll say that this is a positive word and rich yielded rich so this is also a positive uh, word so ho- complete sentence is a positive sentence so sunita's performance in athletics yielded rich money no friends here we are not connecting riches with the money only not only money but something more so performance is correct but rich money is not ma- making a logical sense next is uh, sunita's excellence okay this looks good positive word uh in uh, athletics yielded rich dividends okay dividends friends here means some benefits some positive uh, you know effects so here dividends is also correct i'll keep this aside next is sunita's won in athletics so this is not correct grammatically i'll eliminate it sunita's failure so again failure is a negative word i'll directly uh, eliminate this one my correct answer is b excellence and dividends moving forward in dash of international matters there is always an element of risk uh, in dash um, one might do okay so here uh, we have some kind of risk this seems to be a negative word let's see the options directly in case of international matters so this is okay uh, there is always a risk uh, in whatever one might do so this is also okay friends hum kuch bhi kare par international matters ke case mein कुछ ना कुछ रिस्क रहता है सो दिस इज करेक्ट 
in uh, in spite so uh, in spite says that we are contradicting something kuch hai uske bavzood in spite of international matters no this is not correct uh, next is in many international many of so many ke baad of use kar raha hai it does not sound correct in spite again in spite is correct we'll go ahead with a so i hope uh, this is very easy next uh, football evokes a dash response in india compared to cricket okay so football ka comparison ho raha hai cricket se that almost the nation so friends uh, football ka comparison hai cricket ke sath yahan par ye dhyan rakhne wali baat hai comparison ho raha hai okay so words aise honge jo comparison show, show kar rahe ho football evokes a tepid tepid means uh, having very low response or having very lukewarm response so this is correct response in india compared to cricket that almost boiling the nation again this is grammatically incorrect so i'll eliminate it uh, evokes a dash lukewarm so lukewarm is again tepid or very less response in india compared to cricket that almost electrifies the nation yes electrifies means it fills with lots of enthusiasm so this is a possibly correct option next option is mild response in india so this is okay but uh, that almost burns the nation no burns is a very negative word you cannot use this so i'll eliminate it uh, apocryphal response in india for football so friends apocryphal ka meaning hota hai which is having doubtful authenticity so uh, is the response can 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 we use uh, this word for response of course no so i'll eliminate it directly so my correct answer will be b lukewarm and electrifies we'll move forward learning is more efficient when it is dash it is less efficient when it is dash so friends ye aapka assignment question hai iska answer aap log mujhe batayenge these are your options so tell me the answer in the comment section so friends thanks a lot for watching we have come to an end to this session and i'm pretty sure ki aapko aaj bahut kuch seekhne mila hoga aapko bahut sari practice karne mili hogi so agar aapko ye session acha laga hai so please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to novation for more such awesome videos and uh, i'll again request you that if you're having any doubts or you need any help you can directly contact me on the social media sites or you can visit novation where you can uh, novation.in where you can uh, practice more uh, like quizzes and also you can get the resources of the lecture directly all right and agar aapko novation ka content acha lagta hai so aap uh, novation.in par support bhi kar sakte hain novation ko you can go to the donate button all right friends with that i'll conclude today's session and uh, we'll meet again next time with another ex exciting session until then bye bye and please take care